Alabama, and it's moving to the north now into Arkansas. All right, so three Isaac-related deaths confirmed in Louisiana. Let's go to Dr. Greg Forbes because we still have a very dangerous threat when it comes to tornadoes, right, Dr. Forbes? Yeah, still a couple tor uh, tornado warnings out there, storms of tornadoes. We also had a report of a fatality from a tree falling onto a vehicle in Mississippi as well. Take a look. We Here is this band of thunderstorms. Uh, strong winds still a few thousand feet above the ground, uh, 40 to 50 miles per hour, giving the source for the rotation in some of these storms. One of them just to the west of Meridian, Mississippi. The other just to the east of Macomb, Mississippi. So let's take a look in more detail. This one, a tornado warning for Newton County in Mississippi, moving north at about 35 miles per hour. Places in the path include Newton and Garlandville, the Decatur, the Union areas, uh, as that storm is uh, rotating pretty strongly. A little bit less so than it was. This one, a newly formed uh, rotation. This one is parts of a wall fall up in the Jefferson Davis, Lawrence, and Marion counties, moving northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Darvin, the White Bluff, the Hathorn areas. Wanted to show you that one on the high resolution radar. This is a spin along the leading edge of this uh, bow echo, mini bow echo here. The return, the precipitation intensity on the left. On the right, right around the Tyler Town area, we have that red and green right in there. That's an indication of a possible tornado heading off toward the northeast. It will head off to the area just to the south and east of Monticello. So that one moving northeast is at about 35 miles per hour. So we're getting into the evening hours. Surface winds lighten up a little bit. The winds aloft keep going, and we get those possible tornadoes tapping that slightly increased cheer. A lot of heavy rain still falling farther south in that band, west of the New Orleans area, east of the Baton Rouge area. Tornado watch still in effect for parts of central and south Mississippi. That goes until 10, until 10 p.m. The Storm Prediction Center will monitor whether or not to continue that one overnight. I've given a Torcon value of four for central and uh, parts of Mississippi, down into uh, four, three values, down a little bit south, closer to the Gulf, where the winds aloft are not quite as strong. So heavy rain and tornadoes. They're going to continue with Isaac for days to come.